If there's anything in Logic Pro that speeds up my own workflow, it's this thing called Bounce in Place. Let's say, for example, you want one of your MIDI regions. In this case, let's pick the 909 hat. In this case, it also plays the clap track, which is inside this summing track stack, because it's from the same instrument as the 909 hat. You can have uh, several reasons to have a MIDI region like that as an audio file, because that might offer different ways to edit or process. Could be anything. What matters is that you want it as an audio file. Well, there's a very fast way of doing that in Logic Pro. You just select your region and go to the file menu. There's a menu item called Bounce. And the options are Bounce Regions in place, Bounce a Track in place, or Bounce and Replace All Tracks. We're going to look at all this stuff in a moment. But let's start off with Regions in place, Bounce Regions in place. So if I choose that or I just do a simple Control B command, I get another dialog where I can give a name to the new audio file. Although there's already one in there, 909 at BIP, bounce in place. Where do I want it? I want the audio file on a new track. What do you want to do with the source? Well, I think I want to mute it. So our 909 hat region will be muted. Then what? I think I do not want to include an audio tail in the region. So there's no reverb or stuff on it anyway. And it'll make the region a little longer than I want. So I'll uncheck that. And the only normalization I want is uh, overload protection, so it will not clip over 0 dB. So, as soon as I click OK, Logic will create a new track, put the audio file on there, and mute the source region. So there we go. And it's really fast. I believe it worked. The old region is now muted. We got a new track with uh, 909 head BIP. It's actually called BIP number 2, because I did it once behind the scenes. So that's super fast and easy. Yep, that's the hi-hats. And from here I can uh, do whatever I want. Maybe go into the audio editor to do some reverse or invert, doing all kinds of edits, etc. So that is the first example of bouncing in place, just grabbing a region, be it audio or, or MIDI. You can do it with both, of course. This was just an example with a MIDI region. One step further would be to take multiple regions. Let's say I want to have one audio file containing all my percussion sounds. Maybe turn them into a loop, a sample. Well, couldn't be easier again. Just select everything you want in your new audio file and do the bounce regions in place. So how are we going to call this? Let's call it, I don't know, stuff? No, not stuff. How about percussion? Same thing, I'll mute the sources and this will give us an audio file containing all these percussion elements and mute the original ones. Super fast, there's our new track, percussion stuff. Let me just throw that down to the bottom and you see the other regions are muted and they're all bounced into this audio file. So that's a fast and easy way to do a bounce in place with multiple regions. Let's move on to the next tutorial and see what else we got in bounce in place.